So chapter 13, exercise 13 C. First question you see, which of the following pairs of triangles are congruent by side angle side congruence? So we'll take triangle A, B, D and triangle A, C, D. These two triangle, you can see here, these two is equal. B, D equal to C, D. And angle, angle A, D, B equal to angle A, D, C. A, D, B, A, D, C, each 90 degree. Can write here each 90 degree and again this triangle and this triangle common side is ad so ad equal to ad that is a common side so therefore we can say triangle abd congruent to triangle acd by side angle side congruence okay side angle side it's congruence and next one question number two PQR and XYZ is given. So you can see here this line dot line is given. So PQ and XY is equal. So we can write here PQ equal to XY. And again angle here this angle P and angle X is equal. And again this two dot is given. So QR and YZ. So QR equal to YZ. So therefore we can say triangle PQR congruent to triangle x y z by side angle side side angle side congruence okay and now come to question number two question number two again to see the from the diagram find the measurement of the unknown sides of the angles marked by small letters in the following parts of congruence triangle so you can see this triangle here 2.4 here 2.4 here 3, here 3. So here is given x and here this was given. The angle is given how much? That is 105 degrees given. So that means straightly we'll know x will be same of the diagram only. Same uh, number, uh, scale also same only. So we can just straightly answer, you can write angle x is 105. Okay. And question number uh, 2 you see is given the diagram. So here 3.5, here 3.5. So we can just triangle. So we can take in triangle A, D, B and triangle A, D, B and triangle um, B, C, D will take. Okay. Or B, C, D means B will come here. We can take or C, B, D also you can take. You take C, B, D. Okay. Triangle C, B, D. So here these two triangle. A, D is 3.5. B, C is 3.5. So A, D, B, C same. A, D is here. B, C is here. Correct. Again BD BD so BD BD is common that means surely we'll know angle ADB equal to angle CBD so angle ADB is given here 43 degree CBD is CBD is Y so therefore Y equal to 43 degree okay now question number three in figure is given AB equal to AD so it's given here AB equal to AD okay question number 3 13c AB equal to AD is given and you can see again angle BAC equal to angle DAC also given BAC and DAC so this one is equal given and again you have to prove prove that line segment CA bisect angle BCD that means CA bisect angle BCD means you have to prove these two angles are equal to prove CA bisect bisect means equal okay make cutting equals bisects angle BCD that means you are going to prove these two angles are equal this one and this one is equal so now proof will take we'll take in triangle ABC okay and triangle ADC ABC and ADC so taking these two triangle these two triangle already given what's given a b equal to AD. this triangle a b this triangle a d equal a b equal to a d and again angle also given angle b a c equal to angle d a c these two are given okay 
we are taking two triangle and the same triangle a b a d equal and b these two word things is given already in the question so we have to find one more thing because congruence means we have to find three things okay so now we can see the diagram and which one is again equal these two already again this also we said now the one is common side so this triangle also is easier even this triangle also is easier so we can just write here ac equal to ac that is common side Okay, so therefore we can write triangle ABC congruence to triangle ADC okay by side angle side it's a side angle and side congruence so if it's congruence what we can say these two triangles congruent that means you will know this angle this angle equal so you can write angle BCA equal to angle DCA so angle BCA equal to angle DCA so hence you can write hence CA bisect angle BCD okay we are taking through triangle ABC and ADC and here we are proving AB and AD equal AB AD already given and angle BAC and DAC also already given equal and you're taking extra one is AC equal to AC there's a common side AC is a common side and therefore three parts equal so it's congruence if it's congruence we can say these two angles are equal okay again question number four with the line segments AB and the line segment AB and CD bisect each other at O. That means these two are equal, these two equal, bisect each other at O. Then using side angle set congruence rule, prove that angle AO is triangle AOC congruence to triangle BOD. Okay, so given what's given here, given AB and CD, AB and CD bisect each other at O and we have to prove to prove triangle AOC congruence to triangle BOD okay so now prove and just take the same triangle in triangle AOC and triangle BOD what triangle they told to prove you are just taking the triangle okay so AOC is here and BOD is here okay so these two triangles you just see what other things are equal AO and BO equal AO equal to BO okay given again angle again angle is which angle equal you can see these two angles are equal because that is vertically opposite angle so you can write angle AOC equal to angle BOD AOC B O T. So this angle, angle equal. That is, you can write it here vertically opposite angle. Okay, vertically opposite angle. Again, the third one already given. These two equal. C O and D O. So C O equal to D O. Given. So three parts are equal. We can say that for triangle. AOC congruence to triangle BOD by side angle side congruence okay side angle side okay again I'll tell you A B and C D bisect each other at O that means these two are equal these two equal to prove AOC and BOD congruent proof in you are taking the triangle and here AO BO already given equal AO and BO equal CO DO also already given equal CO DO we wrote and this angle this angle is vertical apex triangle if you take it a two line here this one this one is vertical apex triangle this one this one is vertical apex. so similar only we are telling here this is also vertically opposite angle so therefore three parts are equal so these two triangle is congruent okay and question number five in figure eight a b is parallel to d c is given here a b parallel to d c and AB parallel to DC again AB equal to DC AB equal to DC is given 
to prove we have to prove triangle ACD congruence to triangle CAB okay triangle ACD and CAB is congruence or not we are going to prove okay after that we have two more thing is here so and which angle is equal to angle CAD and AD parallel to BC or not okay so we'll just prove first take it in triangle ACD and triangle CAB okay ACD and CAB we are taking these two triangle so ACD means here this one means this one so here are the things equal straightly is given AB equal to AB equal to DC given okay and angles because here is given AB is parallel to DC parallel means we know alternate angles are equal so we can use this angle this angle so I've just read here 1 and 2 here 1 and 2 so we can say here angle 1 equal to angle 2 this is alternate angles if it's parallel line only is here we can say alternate angles are equal okay since this since these two are parallel line that's why alternate angle equal even these two also equal okay but that, that's no need now again these two triangle common side is AC so AC equal to AC that's a common side so therefore we can say triangle ACD congruent to triangle CAB by side angle side congruence okay so here's ACD and CAB is congruent so that means this two triangle is congruent means then the question is they are asking the first second question which angle is equal to CAD so CAD which angle equal to CAD so CAD and which one will be equal surely we'll know CAD and this BCA will be equal because these two are alternate angles so we can just write it can say these two equal okay so we'll write that one here therefore angle you can write here angle CAD equal to angle which one CAD equal to angle BCA angle BCA that's the second one CAD and BCA is equal okay that is alternate angle you can say straightly one two equal means this can say these two also equal alternate angles and the third question does it follow from it AD parallel to BC so here we can see ACD and CAB we took congruence and we know uh, these two are parallel line and these two are equal okay that means AD and BC will be equal surely we can from here from this one we can say AD and AD and BC equal we can write it in bracket CP CT CP CT means corresponding parts of congruence triangle so these two con triangle congruent parts AC, AD and BC so corresponding parts of congruence triangle be understood AD we are taking first and last and BC first and last so these two are equal so therefore AD BC also equal AD BC equal these two equal so surely we can say AD is parallel to BC okay so therefore what do you write last line therefore therefore you write question number three yes AD parallel to BC okay so the exercise 13 point C 13 C over